hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while but i have such great news i got my first 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 email for you know a, a little advice you know the girlies be hitting me up for advice so i got my first official email so this was kind of like you know still working off the kings and i had to ask for more details in a few um a few times so it's like breaking up in different um sections and i might put the email in thinking about putting it in here Boop. if not yeah so this person wants to stay anonymous well it's some family issues and i cannot discuss this with anyone that's close to me although i've told a few people but they don't really care or make it seem like it's like i'm the issue maybe i am i'm not sure so first of all girl i like you because you haven't just straight up said you know what I'm not the issue. You're saying, maybe I am. Maybe let me know. Let me know. So yeah, I always like someone who's receptive to feedback and who is willing to take accountability, especially if they're wrong. So that she said, well, maybe I'm the issue, maybe. Well, the issue is with my sister. Those relationships can be tricky and complicated. So let's just start there. I don't know if I should reach out to her or not. I'm always the one to reach out first after an issue so uh, she, she is a year younger than i am but we grew up as if i'm no more as if i was more older than her growing growing up i was the i was the popular one very pretty pretty very pretty and all the guys like me she's pretty as well but all the guys seem to always like me or even ask her about me to this day. I first noticed when I was 14 years old, I had my first boyfriend, long story short, I forgot how, but they were messaging, messaging each other on Facebook. And I seen the messages where he told her to send me, to send him a picture of her. And she told me, and she told me she is not going to stop talking to him. And this time, I didn't. At this time, I didn't care because we were so young, and he has a lot of. And I had a lot of guys after me. He even broke up with me out of nowhere, and when, he, and and she went and told him I was, fourteen and not really fifteen. So I'm. She's forgetting some details. It seemed like maybe like. She was probably lying to her friend, her boyfriend, girl. You see the goggles trying to, you know, make the math math. Seems like she was lying about her age and her sister outed her. Sorry. She still, to this day, in 2023, she said she has him as a friend on Facebook. She said she has him as a friend on Facebook and they heart and share each other's posts. I don't even have him as a friend on Facebook. Anyways, the real part of the story, as we have gotten older, it's still the same cycle, if not worse. Okay, so that was just a little background, basically. I mean, y'all get the gist. She feel like her sister be after her man child. That's so messy. Now, here we are now, 25 and 24. So the girl who's emailing is 25 and her sister's 24. I rekindled with my ex from high school. I texted him off of, off of her Facebook because here I go again trusting her so I texted him off of her Facebook page and he responded we talked in the phone from her Facebook page she means from like Facebook messenger you can like video chat so I assume that she video chatted with him there a day after a day after that here she is commenting and liking on his post girl she don't approve of the girl like her sister liking her man pictures and that's fine him him and i st so here my question is is this the same dude or is this another dude let me read that again one of my exes i think it's a different dude she says him and i started a relationship where we when and we got back together she would never come around unless he was around me that's a red flag that's weird also that's your sister your sister don't want to see you unless a man's there that's bizarre that's very bizarre that's bizarre even will call his phone which i never gave her the number so how did she get so how did she get his number if she never if you never okay 
and he would tell me your sister is looking for you when she could have contacted me or our family or our family or myself via facebook i asked her to stop and she took it as some type of joke I felt like it was more than that he wasn't telling me. I felt like it was some type of secret communication or more. I remember my clothes got mixed up with hers and she was wearing his sweats. You can tell they weren't mine and were men's sweats. Her and I will get into small arguments and he would say it's because of me. So she arguing with, no, that's weird. He telling himself, see, because if I was dating someone and me and my sister got into little just petty arguments and my man told me it was because of him, I would be like, and why would you be the basis of our argument? Why would you? He telling himself, somebody got a guilty soul. I never paid any, I never paid attention to the signs. He would also get nervous every time I'm on the phone with her. <laughs> what the hell? She would always ask him. She would always ask about him, but never how I am or how her nephew was doing. She would skip to mentioning him. I remember I was in the shower and I got out. He had my phone and looked at the messages she had sent me. It seemed so weird and paranoid. I would ask her what I should get him for his birthday one day and she would say, suck his D. <laughs> like that disgust, that's disgusting coming from your little sister. I was asking about gifts to give him. Anyways, I told him I do not want them in contact with one another. A year later, him and I broke up for a month. She heard about our big fight. Everyone knew. We got back together. I go through his Facebook and he has her blocked, blocked on Messenger. So I asked him, what was the reason? <laughs> what would it what would be the reason? <laughs> what was the reason? <laughs> what would be the reason? For you to block her, even though I told you both not to be talking almost a year ago, he told me he was trying to, she, he told me, he told me that he was trying to reach out to me through her during the breakup, but it didn't sound right because he could have just come to my house if he was that sorry. So did she mean unblocked her and he blocked her on Facebook? Did she mean unblocked her? I think she means unblocked her because what? It's funny because she never mentioned it to me either. She never said, blank, your boyfriend reached out to me <laughs> to try to talk to you. Okay, so I get what she's saying. So, yeah, like if he was really trying to reach out to me through my sister, why didn't my sister come back and tell me that, hey, your boyfriend's looking for you or your ex-boyfriend, whatever. You know, that is weird. That's weird. <laughs> And the messages were deleted, so there was no proof of any type of conversation. I asked her, and she said he blocked her because she was cursing him out. But this didn't make sense because she should have told me about the situation. He said he blocked her because she never responded, and she was saying that she cursed him out. So both the side of their stories were not adding up. It's so, It's funny because before he cheated on me, with his ex he blocked her on facebook uh, men have patterns that's one thing about men cha they have patterns i swear to god they do like a man like well every single time here's the thing like what they say about women cheating versus men cheating a man cheating he'll always get caught a woman cheating will never get caught because guess what we play it we women are very very different i'm loyal child i'm not even gonna say when i'm a woman but i don't cheat so <laughs> when women cheat they do not like absolutely not they do not make it obvious they stay 10 toes down but men when they cheat they make the same mistakes over and over and over 
And that's why you shouldn't be cheating on your girl because you're too damn dumb. She gonna catch your ass every time. And then we have women in women's intuition. Female intuition is very well, well, very real. Um, and I should do a video about like science, the science behind female intuition because it's not just like a feeling that we get when you're intimate with your partner and you're passing bodily fluids against amongst one another there is a certain fluid that's being released from the male that actually is secreted from his brain and travels all the way down to and so girl the t is scientists have found that that fluid and i forget the name of it actually because it comes from the brain it is stored where like people keep their processing of information so like a woman intuition is not necessarily intuition it's because we're physical we were you were physical with him you got some of his bodily fluids and his bodily fluids is snitching on him to your system so that's just all the tea there so anyways back to what i was reading child i forgot what i mean she said it's funny because when he cheated on me with his ex he blocked her on facebook as well patterns period before we broke up, the last thing he told me about my sister is that I should watch out for her because she would still try and come on to my next boyfriend. So what, see, that's what I don't like about people. Like people say little slick stuff and feel like they don't got to offer explanations. What exactly am I watching out for? What what exactly am I watching out for? Oh, she might try to come on to your next boyfriend. And what, 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 so has she ever come on to you? I honestly don't know who's worse in this story. Is it the sister or is it the boyfriend? Because they're both disloyal. If this, if the sister truly is pursuing your boyfriend, first of all, that's just foul. We're going to dig into that later because I think it's something else going on. But yeah, we're going to get into that later. <sighs> Anyways, this is my fiance. And he is dead now. Rest in peace. So this situation is in the past. Girl, see, I, I hope I didn't say nothing like disrespectful i should have i should have proofread this first um i'm sorry for your loss was your fiance your child's father because you also mentioned that you have a child so i'm like is damn okay let me keep going because she has a lot more tea okay she said I never wanted to fight with her, her sister. I never wanted to fight with her or blamed her, but I have had enough proof to use my mind. I never came to her and told her I think she was wrong or blamed her at all. She seemed guilty because her and I didn't really talk for a year. And I was the first one to reach out. Okay, so she's about to say a little bit more. And then after that email, I had asked her, I said, so what was the nature of your sister's relationship with you? Like growing up, what was it like? Cause you know, you know, y'all, you know, I'm like in school to be a therapist child. I be trying to like <laughs> put my skill to work before. Okay, my cat is like right here. And so she answered the question. She basically was saying that they come from a background of drug and a drug addicted parents drug and alcohol addicted parents child me too nothing to be ashamed of it happens she said that she was stuck homeless growing up and living stop it he is so annoying like he's like ripping my sweater stop she said that she said i was homeless i was stuck homeless growing up living with a drug addiction parent while she was living with our grandmother although she didn't have to live in the same household with me and our mother she lived a better life never went hungry for food on the table clothes on her back <sighs> not stuck living in a, dr a drug addicted environment with addicted parents i grew up rough she had a little bit e she had she had it a little oh sorry my name she had it a little bit easier than me but we also have one another, but we also have another sister who is older and went through the same thing as me. We also have brothers as well. So she's basically, she was giving me more background. But we were close. We spent our birthdays and Christmases together. Every summer I would go and stay with her every other weekend. After a year, 
and then she was just giving me more we were talking back and forth she was giving me more details child she says after a year of her and i not talking even before this happened her and i weren't close for three years and barely speaking so i reached out to her and told her i'm happy with for her starting her new business and she said thanks and starting you're done you're done he's done i to said thanks and starting to go back to the past and ask me what i think went wrong in our relationship which she could have just avoided and not brought up but i was honest with her and i tried to keep it clean i just told her that she didn't respect boundaries okay that seems to be true <laughs> she didn't respect boundaries or me as her sister and i can't trust her and she started to she started manipulating me like I'm the problem. My family knows I suffer, suffer from depression, so she tried to gaslight me, even <laughs> told me that she can't help how I feel. Yeah, I don't, mm, okay. She even told me she can't help how I feel. I don't think, and she hoped that I'm not schizophrenic. She said, laugh my ear off. <laughs> when I'm the most sane one. All my family need therapy and I'm the only one going to therapy to work on myself. I even tried with the Africa. Girl, shout out to you. Because Africa, first of all, I that's a long plane ride. I do not like planes. I don't know where you went to Africa from. I don't know how long it was, but like Africa just seemed in my head like one of the furthest continents from us. Africa, like uh, that's a long ride shout out to you hope you had met a giraffe and an elephant girl send me you should send me some pictures of you in africa after you watch this video there's nothing wrong with people going to therapy most people need to run <laughs> from their troubles and their problems exactly instead of going to therapy exactly i just feel this was not something i can easily forgive even though even when i do just think about it it will never be the same and she is the narcissistic she is the narcissist in my family is and she is the narcissist and my family is asking me why i don't talk to her what i could have told the real the told them a real truth i just told them we just don't talk i can relate to that because when people would ask me about i'm a, having a strange relationship with my sister as well when people would ask me like about her when it was like in the thick of it i would always say we just don't get along like you know what i mean it wasn't really necessary to go into detail i would go into detail with like my older cousin just to get like advice but um i wouldn't really you know what i mean i would either change the subject just because i didn't feel that's also not my character you know what i mean if you family or not if we're not we're not on one accord and someone brings you up to me i'm not gonna just sit there and just like go in and bash you you know what i mean it's just not necessary we just don't get along but the tea was sometimes when you move like that <laughs> People are asking you about your sister because obviously they see that you guys used to be close and you're not close now. But also just know that she's saying whatever she, her version of events as well. So like, you're not saying anything. She's saying her truth. And then there's the actual truth. So now people are only getting her truth because no one knows the actual truth. So like, that's something to keep in mind. And like, people might try to treat you differently or might try to spread a narrative about you because of that so that's something you need to keep in mind as well not to say that you need to go ahead and break down the situation like you did with me because i would i would advise against that as well but like be cognizant of when you when you opt out of defending yourself which i feel like is the more emotionally mature thing to do it's the higher ground it's the person with the most cooth in class or something that they would do but when you opt out of defending yourself or explaining yourself it leaves room for people to kind of take take the narrative that your sister is spinning and run with it so you just have to be solid and secure in yourself and know hey that this is not the case and really still even though these people may have a different view of you because of what someone else said remember to shine your light regardless 
and this i'm like kind of like speaking from like myself like you know what i mean remember to shine your light regardless and show your character regardless so like when you're a real genuine person you're a loving and caring person regardless of the misunderstanding you have with another person or what they've said you know and spilling their truth or you know spilling their beings and, spe and speaking their truth your your kindness and your light needs to always overshadow anything that any of that stuff so just you know i know it might be difficult having people look at you like girl i heard you did this but no be kind be loving be calm cool collected have class conduct yourself like an, a proper adult and um you'll be fine you know but that's not all the advice i got for you um and then let's see okay so everything that first thing i'm really gonna go like into a deep dive about this first things first i asked you about your relationship with your sister growing up for a reason it sounds like your sister has you know you hit you hit the nail on the head boundaries issues and i'm sure you you know went over this with your own therapist now i'm not a therapist child i'm in school to get um to become a psychologist but i have a long ways to go i'm just using my natural intuition my talent and you know the gift from god of empathy to kind of relate to you right now it sounds like your sister really does have boundary issues when it comes to men especially men in your life so your entire email to me sounded very genuine the only part that kind of like had me taken off guard is when you compared your beauty to your sister's let me just say this i don't know what you look like but i'm sure you're both drop dead gorgeous however when you have a real belief in your head that you are prettier or more beautiful and girl i hate to say it but even if it's true just bear with me okay even if it's true when you have that belief in your head that you are more attractive than your sister even though i'm sure you're not running around and saying that out your mouth to your sister because i just you just don't and how genuine you are in the email it doesn't seem like you're that type of person but sometimes when you believe something about yourself and it kind of trumps another person it oozes off of you for example if i was in the room if i had a roommate right and my roommate kind of like never paid rent on time and i pay my rent every month on time or even early which i do <laughs> shout out to me if that was the case and I developed a belief that I'm more financially responsible than my roommate and that I'm a better adult than my roommate, even though I would never say that to them and it may be a fact because why aren't you paying your rent on time in the analogy? Um, sometimes if a person is going through something like, I don't know, poor management, money management on their end, you know what I mean? sometimes that belief even though it's not being said it can ooze off of me and that can play into somebody else's insecurities so in the example with you and your sister let's say you are more prettier than your sister okay but your sister's also pretty but you just happen to be prettier you know what i mean um even though i'm sure you're not constantly just saying to her bitch i'm prettier than you ha 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 sometimes that belief can ooze off of you and play into your sister's insecurities if she believes that you're prettier than her or you know we're women we all have like insecurities human beings we have insecurities you know what i'm saying if she feels like hey um i'm gonna use an example like my nose i have you know first of all my nose is cute today but like if you know if i'm your sister and i feel like oh my nose is too big but my sister has a pretty nose and we have similar features but her nose is smaller which makes her prettier her face is not asymmetrical you know it could be anything you don't know what's going on in your sister's head but when you have that belief i would just say work on humbling yourself in that regard um and it's not to say that you deserve anything she you know puts you through because ill that's gross <laughs> but i think that's what opened the door and if to take this even deeper i would say that you know what i mean where you said in the email in regards to your childhood trauma i would go ahead and bring that up to your therapist how you feel like she may have had an easier life than you that is something you need to chin check at the door baby you do not know as someone with several siblings i have no idea what they went through in their childhood 
even though we probably were we were close as kids yes when we when it comes to children being put into different homes that's where a lot of childhood tension is developed and it goes unresolved because as children we don't have the words to communicate hey i don't feel worthy of life quality life because i don't have food but you do every single day you know what i mean as kids four and five you couldn't say that to your sister but at the same time on her and i'm just saying this to like really be real with you you have no idea what your sister went through in your grandma's house you simply don't because you weren't there you can say how your grandmother made you feel how the people who lived in the home made you feel what you witnessed when you went over there but frankly you really have no clue you really have no clue sometimes the grass appears to be greener on the other side but it's actually not and i'm speaking from experience okay and i just want you to keep that in mind that's something i would address with my therapist if i were you like hey um i genuinely feel like she had it easier than me even though it may seem that way you just don't know and i would hate for you to have that deep rooted ingrained like you know like chip on your shoulder kind of when you really don't know and i'm just gonna leave that there because i don't want to hone into that too much and then i'm gonna get that's just like the basis like i want to go to the root of the issue address the root and then we could just address everything else your sister seems to be violating sexual boundaries people who violate sexually ba sexual boundaries that's typically indicative of a person of a person who experienced child sexual abuse so not to say that happened knock on wood hopefully pray to god she did not but that's something that's a telltale sign she seems to be violating that boundary and because you have said yourself that you believe that you're more prettier than your sister more attractive than your sister she also comes out to be incredibly insecure now i don't know how to say this in a nice way but with insecure people you have to be very careful around them because what i do so be very careful with that um when you know someone's jealous of you if you're feeling like you want that person in your life i think it's very important to affirm them and i think that you're already on a good path because you said something along the lines of no one in your family is getting therapy but you but you advocate for therapy to them regardless i think you're on a great path because one day even though your sister may be a jealous hater now one day she might say you know what i'm gonna give me some therapy it might be something that you say to your sister that inspires her to get therapy and address those insecurities and you never know what she went through growing up and this is i'm just saying this is very important okay um i don't want to like beat you up about it or like make you feel bad it's okay it's natural it's natural it's a natural emotion to have like oh this person you know it was different but like stay um what was i gonna say child yeah yeah you never know what she went through growing up and the same way you feel as though she had it easier she may feel that you had it easier she may feel like not only you had it easier you had the easier you have the prettier looks you know what i mean she may feel like oh people like your your vibe and your 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 personality a little better she may feel all of these things and be insecure in herself and be looking at you like but why did she get all the sauce you know what i mean so just be very very careful of that you when you know someone's insecure about something you never want to rub it in your face in their face for multiple reasons it's an unkind thing to do if you want to be kind an emotionally healthy person would never rub someone else's insecurities in their face it's just ugly it's a nasty thing to do and if you care for that person you don't want to see them continuously hurt like they're already hurting she's already you know feeling how she feels about herself you know what i mean in terms of what to do i would tell your sister straight up because she seems like she wants um some sort of relationship i would give her an ultimatum listen here's what i'm gonna do okay either we go hash this out with a professional or we just let it rock i'm not gonna have i'm never gonna trust you in the same way i trusted you before um i'm not gonna have you around my men 
I'm not going to do that. But if you want a relationship with your nephew and you want a relationship with your sister, a close relationship, because of course she can still see your nep her nephew here and there at family events, but like a close relationship with her nephew means she has to have a cool and understanding relationship with her sister. So I will tell her straight up, if you want, if that's what you want and you're willing to give your sister that shot, this is very important. Take time and consider whether or not you're willing to rekindle a relationship with your sister before you do this step. But like, if you're willing to give her a shot, you need to let her know, this is what I expect. Give her an ultimatum. Give her an ultimatum. We're going to go talk about what we have never talked about. Sometimes when there's unspoken word or unspoken ingrained deep deep rooted tension or trauma against siblings it comes out in ways of jealousy and it comes out in ways of betrayal it comes out in ways of shit talking being nasty with one another yelling screaming fighting but the issue is there is something that's not being said amongst the two of you that really needs to be addressed and it can be subconscious it may be something that you both you know just you know not thinking of and it could be just as you know sibling rivalry is a real thing can't kill abel child can't kill abel look that up look 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 that up Kane done killed his only brother and girl i think moses was the one that they threw in their pit they threw their, their favorite <laughs> I think they threw Moses in the pit. You know, just read up sibling betrayal in the Bible, even if you're not religious or a Christian. It's just examples of how insecurity can allow people to do crazy, evil, vile things. And, you know, I will watch out for that in regards to your sister. But if you're willing to give her a second chance, third, fourth, fifth chance, you tell her to her face, listen. If you want to make this relationship work as my sister, it's going to take 50-50 effort. We are going to have to sit down in front of a professional, and it doesn't necessarily have to be your therapist if she doesn't feel comfortable going to someone who's already been giving you sessions. You know what I mean? And we're going to hash this out. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to get to the root of the issue. And we have to do it in order for us to pursue a relationship. If you're not willing to do that with me, even if she doesn't believe in therapy, let me tell you something. When someone loves you, it doesn't matter what they believe in. They're going to do it. Out, out, of, out of simple, it's your request. If she genuinely wants a relationship with you, even if she bashes therapy, she's going to do it. She's going to do it. So you let her know, listen, we need to go talk to a therapist. I think there's some deep rooted issues between us. I think we need a professional. We need to go down and sit down. I think that at certain parts in our childhood, you felt more love than I did. And I felt more or I felt more love than you did. You felt more worthy than I did. Or I felt more worthy than you did. Or, you know, I think we both compared ourselves to each other as children. I think that's still doing something to us as adults. I think that we need to sit down and talk to someone and get to the root of it. I think that our parents failed us for allowing this tension to grow and grow and grow and fester and fester so much over time. And I think it's up to us as adults to fix it because I have a child and one day you didn't say whether or not she has a child. But if she doesn't, you say like one day you'll have a child and they'll be cousins and we need to work it out. Will they be cousins? Yeah, they'll be cousins. And we need to work it out. We need to fix this family dynamic here. Because what I can't do is allow for it to seep. Seep, seep, and go, and go, and go, and multiply and fester. Because ain't nothing good when a family feud. Isn't that what uh, Jay-Z said? But anyways, that's my video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for writing your email and just opening up. Um... <laughs> opening up about your story and i honestly i hope that i hope that everything works out um tell your sister what she's doing is not cool is lame behavior bros before hoes sisters before misters 
figure it out what you're doing is not cool it's not cool and i'm also so sorry to hear about your fiance um and one thing i could also say my last tip is you have to sit down with yourself and really 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 process everything that's happened and everything i've said in this video and if if it if it fits if it resonates take it if it don't it don't you know what i mean but really try to sit down and be patient and kind and reflect and just say to yourself where do i want this relationship to go can i forgive my sister if the answer is no leave it at that leave it exactly where it is walk away let your sister know you love her let her know you you respect her but we will just never have this relationship and it, i'm sorry but too much has transpired be real and take as long as you need to make that decision as long as you need if it takes four or five years for you to think about it invest her and think it you know maybe not four or five years sooner rather than later because time isn't promised to anyone but take as long as you need because this is a very important decision weigh everything out and honestly do that list like that Medea said off the one of the Medea movies write down every <laughs> write down the pros and cons sorry write down the pros and cons or good versus bad the benefits versus negatives of being in a sisterhood with your sister and being kind or being having an active relationship with your sister if the good outweighs the bad then you need that relationship in your life if the bad bad outweighs the good and be honest and truly truly honest with both sides then she gotta go if the bad outweighs the good the good she cut she gotta go <laughs> um but i really hope this video helped you in any type of way i pray i'm gonna pray for you <laughs> I feel like that's I feel like that's almost offensive to say nowadays. Like people say that as an insult. I'm gonna pray for you. Like, no, I mean like if you're praying to you know if you're praying to wish me well wishes, pray for me. But if you're praying for me like wow, joy falls, something, something, don't do it, man. <laughs> don't do it. You know what I mean? But I'm I'm genuinely gonna like keep you in my prayers, even if you're not religious. It's good to have someone like sending up positive energy for you and i hope that i pray that god gives you discernment and allow you to see things for what it is and sometimes and i also pray that god puts forgiveness in your heart and um helps you to make the right proper decision for yourself because i mean cain did kill abel and i'm gonna just leave it leave, leave, leave it there Leave, leave it there. <laughs> Bye.